Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to calculate the amount of cargo that can be loaded for a required draft. For our first example, calculate the amount of cargo that can be loaded on board, the ship is floating in salt water and required to complete its loading to its summer draft which is 9.489 meters. Her initial mean draft is 3.27 meters. In this problem let us disregard the consumable weights and constant, it will be discussed in the next example of this video. Let us assume that the ship only sails within the summer zone area. I will introduce two methods to find the required in this problem. In the first method, we will use the ship stability booklet. Let us assume that this is the ship's load line details which can be found in the stability booklet on board. Below, in the first column, you can see summer. Along this row, in the second column, we have the corresponding value of 9.489 meters. This is her summer draft which is given in this problem. In the last column of the same row, we can find her corresponding summer displacement of 21,579 tons. Let us go back to the ship's load line. We are required to load until the water line is on top of the S load line mark which corresponds to her summer draft of 9.489 meters. This is the maximum draft the ship can load when she is floating in salt water, corresponding to her summer displacement of 21,579 tons. We can also find this value in the ship's hydrostatic table. In the first column of this hydrostatic table, we will find her summer draft of 9.489 meters. In this table, the stated draft is 9.480 and 9.490 meters. In the second column, we can see the corresponding ship's displacement. At a draft of 9.490, her displacement is 21,582 tons. The ship's summer draft is 9.489 with her corresponding summer displacement of 21,579 tons. If you observed, there is a difference of only 3 tons in the displacement. If we go through the interpolation process, we can find her summer displacement, but let us escape the interpolation process to make this video shorter. Next, we need to find her initial displacement at an initial mean draft of 3.270 meters. In the ship's hydrostatic table, in the first column, we will find the ship's draft of 3.270 meters. Her corresponding displacement can be found in the second column, which is 6,714 tons. This hydrostatic table was developed and the ship was floating in saltwater with zero trim. Choose a hydrostatic table appropriate to the present trim condition of the ship. If the ship is floating in dock water, we need to make some corrections for the value of displacement which will be shown in the next problem. By subtracting the initial and final displacement, we can find the total weight that can be loaded on board which is 14,865 tons. To find the total cargo that can be loaded, we need to subtract our ROB constant and other consumable weights that will be loaded on board, such as fuel, freshwater, and ballast water. But this will be discussed in detail in the next example of this video. Let us proceed to the second method. First, we need to find the TPC in saltwater for the required draft of 9.489 meters. Let us go back to our hydrostatic table. The nearest draft stated in the table is 9.49 meters. The corresponding TPC is in the third column of the same row, which is 26 tons. Since there is only a very slight difference in the stated draft and the required draft, we can take these 26 tons as our TPC value. But if you want to get the TPC value as per the required draft, you need to go through the interpolation process, in which the TPC value is 25.995 tons. Next, for the initial draft of 3.27 meters, the corresponding TPC in saltwater is 23 tons. If this problem will be given in the examination, and no hydrostatic table will be provided, then the TPC must be given, instead of the initial and final draft. Next we will determine the mean TPC. 
So we have the TPC for the required or final draft which is 26 tons, plus the TPC for the initial draft which is 23 tons, divided by 2. The mean TPC is 24.50 tons. Now from the formula sinkage or rise in centimeters, is equal to, weight to load or discharge, divided by TPC. What we are looking for is the weight to load. So weight to load is equal to sinkage in centimeters, times the mean TPC. We use the term sinkage since we will be loading cargo to meet the required draft. To determine the sinkage, we will subtract the initial draft from the required or final draft. The sinkage is 6.219 meters or 621.9 centimeters. We use sinkage in centimeters because we will multiply it by tons per centimeter immersion. To convert meter to centimeter, just multiply it by 100, because 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. We have now weight to load is equal to 621.9, times the mean TPC which is 24.5. The total weight that can be loaded onboard is 15,236.55 tons. If we take a look at our answer in the first method, there is a difference of 371.55 tons. Given the significant difference of 371.55 tons between the results of the first and second methods. The question is, which of the two methods gives an accurate answer? Here are some reasons why there is a significant difference in the answers. In the first method, the displacement value in the hydrostatic table is rounded off to the nearest whole ton. But this reason will not greatly impact the difference in our answers. Another reason is by using a mean TPC in the second method, it is assumed that the value of TPC changes linearly, which is not the case. Because the underwater shape of the vessel does not change uniformly with the draft. If we examine the shape of the vessel, the ship's hull is not linear or not in a straight line, most especially in the forward and after parts. Considering the ship's hull as linear or in a straight line, calculating the mean TPC, from the initial draft to the final draft, which has a difference of more than 6 meters, will give a less accurate answer in our calculations, most especially if the amount of cargo to be loaded is greater. So the first method will give a more accurate answer compared to the second method. Let us proceed to our next example. The ship is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.012, and she is required to complete its loading to a maximum draft of 9.39 meters, her initial draft is 3.23 meters. The following will also be loaded on board. Fuel oil of 112 tons, and diesel oil of 16 tons. The ROB or remaining on board are the following. Freshwater, 150 tons. Fuel oil, 143 tons. Diesel oil, 17 tons. Unpumped ballast, 65 tons. And constant, 200 tons. Calculate the maximum cargo that can be loaded on board. The method that we will use in this problem is the first method since it gives a more accurate answer. First, we will extract the displacement values for the initial and final draft using a hydrostatic table. We will assume that in this problem, the ship is floating in an even keel, since this hydrostatic table was developed when a vessel is floating in an even keel. Choose the appropriate table for the present trim condition of your vessel. At a draft of 3.23 meters, the ship's displacement is 6,624 tons. And at a draft of 9.39 meters, the ship's displacement is 21,325 tons. These displacement values are when the ship is floating in salt water in which the relative density is 1.025. In the problem, the ship is floating in dock water with a relative density of 1.012. Before taking the difference between the two displacements, we need to make corrections to the ship's displacement. We will find first the actual displacement of the ship when she is floating in dock water at an initial draft of 3.23 meters. 
The formula is displacement in dock water is equal to displacement in salt water times relative density of dock water divided by the relative density of salt water. We use displacement in salt water and the divisor relative density in salt water because the hydrostatic table we used was developed when the ship was floating in salt water. If you use a hydrostatic table that was developed in fresh water, then the displacement value and the divisor relative density should be in fresh water. We have now 6.624 tons times 1.012 divided by 1.025. The ship's displacement in dock water at her initial draft is 6,539.99 tons. Next we will determine the ship's displacement in dock water for the required or final draft which is 9.39 meters. We have 21,325 tons times 1.012 divided by 1.025. The ship's final displacement in dock water for a final draft is 21,054.54 tons. Determine the difference of the ship's displacement in dock water for the final and initial drafts. The difference is the total weight that can be loaded on board, which is 14,514.55 tons. To find the total weight of cargo that can be loaded on board for the required draft, subtract the ROB and supplies. ROB means remaining on board, and supplies are those weights that will be loaded on board other than cargo. For the ROB, we have fresh water of 150 tons, fuel oil, 143 tons, diesel oil, 17 tons, unpumped ballast, 65 tons, and constant, 200 tons. Constant are weights on board that include stores, spare parts, provisions, crews, and their effects, and miscellaneous items that remain relatively constant regardless of the ship's loading conditions. Next are the supplies, we will be loading fuel oil of 112 tons, and diesel oil, 16 tons. So subtracting all the deductibles, the remaining weight is 13,811.55 tons. This is the total weight of cargo that can be loaded on board. That's all for now guys, I hope you find this video valuable, thank you for watching, bye.